Check this out, y'all. Lemon butter garlic sauce. I'm getting ready to show you how to make the best lemon butter. I'm getting ready to show you how to make the best. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Dan over here getting ready to show you how to make the best lemon butter garlic sauce for your crab legs, shrimp, fish, anything. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Always showing you recipes, spreading the love. Oh, damn. I keep it. Oh, damn. I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite Dano's butter for crab legs. I was gonna say garlic butter. Yes, Dano's has a lot of garlic in it, but let's start this video over. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? Dano back in the Dan kitchen. Today we're gonna make some crab legs, but what we're focusing on is I'm gonna show you how to make the best garlic butter you ever had. And of course, we're gonna put some Dano's in it. We're gonna use some fresh parsley. We've got some butter. Some uh, I use unsalted butter. We also got a little bit of salt in Dano's. So we're gonna use some ginger. I like to call this my tube ginger. Stays fresh all the time, so I don't have to go buy the ginger, not use it, throw it away. Stays fresh in my fridge all the time. And then we got some regular old minced garlic right here. And we're gonna do a squeeze of lemon. And of course, the star of the show, spicy Dano's, and that's what sets it off. You can use this garlic butter that we're making to cook any kind of fish. I've put it on potatoes before, use it for anything. Shrimp, fish, whatever's on the grill, throw this mixture together. Get that flame going. Two sticks of unsalted butter. You don't want to get your flame too hot because what you don't want to do is forget about this butter melting over here and get it too hot and burn your butter because then you're going to have to start all over if you burn your butter. Butter in. Now, when it comes to this butter, a lot of people like to melt their butter on a low heat and the solid fats in the butter will actually rise to the top and you can scrape it off. Me personally, I like leaving all that fat in there. Now we got our fresh parsley here. We're just gonna chop it up as fine as we can. So that's about enough right there, I don't know. Only fresh parsley really adds any flavor to anything and the flavor is not like really distinct, I don't think. But when you use dried parsley, what it actually does is I think it soaks up all the flavor of the butter and all the ingredients that's actually in whatever you're cooking. And that's what parsley does. It kind of soaks up that flavor and sticks to the food, whatever you're cooking. We got our parsley in. Now I'll cut us a lemon, pop the seed out, and give us the squeeze it a little and turn that down. Don't want our butter to burn. Just squeeze it. Just like that. You don't have to worry about getting all that lemon juice in there because you don't want it to be overpowered with the lemon. We just want a little bit of lemon flavor. Lemon squeeze it. <laughs> Toothpicks over there laughing in the background. <laughs> Everybody's laughing now. All right, that's about a full tablespoon of garlic. We'll throw that in there. And almost forgot, we got our tube ginger here. We'll just give that a little squeeze. You don't have to do too much. Just one, two, three little drops. I had a spoon around here, where'd it go? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we just give that a mixing. Wait for the special ingredient, the Danos. That's what's gonna set this off. We grab our big bottle and we squeeze it like this and we call that our trigger finger. I've been using it, I've been popping that trigger finger so it's kind of like already dented in, but you can see we kind of do it like that, that pop pop. So we just kind of squeeze it. It's really not too much. Keep in mind, it's not full of salt. If you look right here, you can see our ingredients, lemon, orange, garlic, onion, rosemary. And this is actually all the salt in our little bottles. It's only 50 milligrams per serving. It's all the salt that we put in the bottle. And it's real sea salt too. That my friends right there is some flavor packed butter. That parsley is gonna stick to the food. Like I said, you don't have to use this for your crab dip. You can use this to cook with, put it on your shrimp. Anything that's going on the grill, any kind of fish, it's amazing. Now it's time to try. This is the best part. That lemon, that garlic, the Thanos, all that. Get it mixed around in there. Oh yeah, get a little bit stuck to it, just like that.
Nobody's beating that. That's a winner winner, Dan O dinner. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You're gonna to wanna to try this and you're gonna to wanna to see more of these recipes. We love you, we thank you. Couldn't do it without you. We'll see you next time. Oh damn. I think. Oh damn. I think.